Hey guys, this is Tara H from How to Play CA. Today I'll be showing you guys how to get rid of this pop-up advertisement. It's very annoying and I'm going to show you three ways you can fix this. So pretty much what it is is you probably went to this website that you weren't supposed to go to and well porn if you went to a porn site. <laughs> I didn't go to a porn site, I just uh, went to this, I looked it up on Google it doesn't matter I watch one anyways <laughs> all right so it's easy to actually close this it's not that bad um, there's actually three ways where you can uh, you know close it without having to pay any money so first way you would can do this is you can actually close Safari in the background and turn on your airplane mode which pretty much means that it's gonna disable the Wi-Fi connection or any kind of internet connection to that site so when you actually load up Safari again it tries to load the page and iPhone doesn't have internet so you can easily go there and close it off turn back the you know turn back on the airplane mode and go to Google and it's gonna work fine just like that all right so and there's another way you can do this well the second way that I'm gonna show you here is you can go here and you can go to this uh, wait let me do it again you can close it from the background go to Safari and click on that tab button right there and if you take a long time to close that off you have actually about two to four seconds I believe before this pop-up comes up and you can actually close it from the tab as well so just go to Safari again like this and you go here the, to the tab and then close it just like that before that pop-up loads up it's pretty easy that way and there's also another way you can do this let me go back to that link again guys hold on all right another there's another way you can do this is you can go to setting and then you can go down to uh, oops. so this is what you're gonna come up to when you go to setting and then you can scroll down to Safari which is right here and if you scroll down a little bit more you will be able to see clear history and website data so you choose that and then you click on clear history and data just like that and when you go to Safari again now it's gonna go away so pretty much it's gonna delete all the history and all your passwords and all that shit if you click there but that's pretty much it guys I hope you found this video helpful and useful and if you did please like and subscribe and share this video with all your friends if they have the same problem as you thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video bye